Distinguished organizers, speakers, moderators, and participants, good morning. First of all, I would like to express my gratitude to the Department of Trade Negotiations of the Ministry of Commerce, organizers of this event, for kindly inviting me to address this webinar and to all of you for your participation today. I'm aware that in Thailand, various ministries, the Thai Latin America Business Council, as other economic agencies and the private sector in general are eager to engage in business with Peru. And I will take this opportunity to inform you all of the good reasons why you should choose Peru as a strategic partner and investment and your gateway to South America. As you may know, since 2002, Peru has been one of the fastest growing economies in Latin America. This was the result not only of a good mix of talented population, a vast territory and rich natural resources, but also coherent structural reforms, prudent fiscal and sound microeconomic policies, a resolute trade liberalization strategy, and an investor-friendly legal framework. In this slide, you can see some indicators that describe Peru's economic performance in 2021. Peru has half the population of Thailand, more than twice the size of its territory, and about half the value of Thailand's GDP. As the rest of the world, in 2020, Peru's economy was affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, but the macroeconomic strength of Peru sustained our earliest response to COVID-19 through the implementation of substantial economic recovery plans in 2020. Thus, Peru's economy rebounded strongly in 2021, expanding by 13.3% and has maintained a healthy situation concerning international reserves and public debt, although inflation was slightly high. Despite the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and the political instability experienced towards the end of last year, Peru joined the select group of economies that issued 100-year bonds in dollars with low interest rates, offering a clear sign of the global financial community's confidence. In the next slide, you can see that growth prospects in 2022 remain at 3.3%, in spite of domestic and international challenges due to the prevailing economic environment shaped largely by high commodity prices of which Peru has an abundance. High prices of commodities have benefited us partially due to our condition of producer of a wide range of commodities and food for export, as shown in this slide that sums up the distribution of natural resources across Peru's territory. As you can see, the Pacific Ocean adjacent to our 3,000 kilometers coastline, combined with the Humboldt Ocean current, give rise to one of the most productive seas in the world, making fisheries our second highest export sector after mining, not including aquaculture. Fisheries and aquaculture are a sector in need of further investment and modernization, and could benefit from Thailand's experience. Oil is also being exploited offshore in the north of the country. The coast is a long, narrow desert cut by 33 rivers and valleys that nowadays, thanks to its special climate and to ancient and modern technologies, host thousands of agricultural hectares that can be cultivated throughout the year, making this area the source of much of our agribusiness production geared to foreign markets. Here as well, there are plenty of opportunities for foreign investors. The Peruvian Andes contain the country's major mineral and metal deposits, 
copper, silver, gold, lead, zinc, bismuth, phosphates, and manganese, among many others. Peru is eager to attract business that could transform these resources and high value goods to supply foreign markets. Peru is also a key world supplier of a great variety of products, including the famous superfoods, such as quinoa and chia, which grow in the highlands and have an increasing international demand due to consumer trends that favor healthy and functional foods. The Amazon jungle, which comprises 60% of our national territory, is rich in forest resources, as well as petroleum, gas, you know, coffee, cocoa, tropical fruit and Amazon nuts that are also in high demand globally. Peru is one of the top mega diverse countries in the world. It comprises 84 of 117 life zones in the planet and 28 out of 32 climates in the world. So it shouldn't surprise anybody that our territory is the point of origin and diversification of thousands of species and a wide range of products to offer. As shown in this slide, Peru is among the top exporters of blueberries, quinoa, processed giant squill, fresh avocado, capsicum, ginger, and many others, as you can see in this slide. Endowed by this variety of resources and the capacity of its people and solid macroeconomic policies, Peru's economic growth has been constant across various sectors, which laid the basis for a steady free market trade policy that rests upon a network of free trade agreements with preferred trade partners across the globe. Having this network of FTAs adds value to business alliances between Peru and foreign companies that seek to relocate their operations to Peru to find better access to markets in South America. Peru is a member of WTO and APEC. We are supporting Thailand during its 2022 APEC presidency, and we look forward to this continued collaboration during Peru's APEC host year in 2024. Peru also belongs to schemes such as MIGA to protect investment against non-commercial risks and has signed taxation agreements and bilateral investment treaties with some countries such as Taylor. Besides, Peru is a founder member of the Andean community and of the Pacific Alliance, together with Chile, Colombia, and Mexico. The latter has a long-term commitment to free trade in goods and services, free circulation of people and capital, and cooperation between its members. Peru will take the presidency of the Pacific Alliance in 2023, and will continue coordinating and enhancing its cooperation with ASEAN. Thailand is an active observer member of the Pacific Alliance. Peru ratified also the CPTPP in September 2021, and now has preferential access to some of the world's most dynamic and fast-growing markets, which will strengthen businesses based in Peru, the growth of our economy, and create more jobs. In January 2022, the OECD Council decided to open accession discussions with Peru, taking into account that it meets the high criteria of that organization and the achievements made in implementing our country program since 2014 in five key areas, economic growth, public governance, anti-corruption and transparency, human capital and productivity and environment. In June 2022, the roadmap for the accession of Peru to the OECD convention was also approved. Peru is well integrated to the global economy through 22 free trade agreements encompassing 58 markets, which cover almost 90.2% 
of the products that we export globally. Here is a list of the countries that subscribe bilateral free trade agreements with Peru, including, as you can see, United States, China, European Union, Japan, Korea, Canada, Australia, Singapore, and of course, Thailand. Peru has also made important progress to better integrate its territory in the logistics of international trade with a network of roads, airports, and ports, and related services. For instance, the Pan American Highway runs along our coast and stretches across the Americas for 30,000 kilometers, whilst the Interoceanic Highway traverses from the Pacific coast of Peru to the Atlantic coast in Brazil. Peru has five international airports and 22 domestic airports, as well as eight major postal ports on the Pacific Ocean. With a US $3 billion investment from Costco and other Chinese companies, we are building the Shanghai multi-purpose container port terminal and the integrated logistic park at Callao and Ancon Industrial Park to become a leading hub for industrial and transport businesses in South America. Mobile phones and internet penetration is also increasing and companies such as Vitel from Vietnam are supporting this development. Peru has increased its hydroelectric generation capacity by 83% in the last 10 years and is self-sufficient in this kind of energy with a total production that covers 112% of the country's need and allows us to export energy. We also have other energy sources, such as natural gas, crude oil, solar, and biofuel. With investment from the Philippines, two geothermal plants will add their output to the energy grid from 2026. Through public-private or solely private investment projects, this renewable energy matrix continue being developed. Coming back to our bilateral trade and opportunities, Thailand is our second trade partner in Southeast Asia, after the Philippines. In 2021, imports from Thailand increased higher than pre-pandemic levels, reaching $338.5 million, whilst exports from Peru approached pre-pandemic levels with a total of $120.9 million US dollars. We have an early harvest FTA, which has been in force for 10 years already. It covers around 75% of the goods that we trade bilaterally. While informed Thai importers and Peruvian exporters are benefiting from this regime after they identify commodities and high quality non-traditional export products that can be outsourced from Peru at advantageous prices. Our trade arrangements were upgraded in May 2022 with the signing of a fourth additional protocol. Hopefully, we shall also conclude a comprehensive FTA in the near future to include the service sector, which offers more opportunities to experienced Thai investors, in particular in the field of tourism, manufacturing, food industry, construction and logistics. In this slide, you can see the products that Thai exporters have been sourcing from Peru, such as giant calamar and other fishery products, minerals, fruit, fruits like avocado, grapes, blueberries, and others. Once the Ministry of Agriculture and Cooperatives of Thailand finalizes phytosanitary protocols for pomegranate and citrus fruits, for Peru and agrees on the Certificate of Health for Shrimps and Seafood, the Horeca sector and consumers in Thailand will also benefit from those Peruvian delicacies. Whilst Peru has been buying from Thailand mainly vehicles, 20%, electrodomestic goods by 11%, and canned tuna by 11%. So. Harnessing the economic potential of business opportunities, Peru has a dynamic private sector 
whose participation under a propitious legal framework has been crucial to produce continued growth and infrastructure improvement. Our business sector is keen to liaise with foreign investors to continue developing productive businesses and infrastructure. Peru is an attractive and safe destination for foreign investment. We have the most favorable business climate in South America in terms of soft landing variables, such as the number of days to register a business, the flexibility to determine salaries, costs of setting up business, and how we have the second most competitive labor cost in various industries. Peru has also the second best credit in rating in entrepreneurship, entrepreneurial attitude, and we have an enabling legal framework and investment incentives. Investment regulations in Peru are highly favorable to foreign capitals, as this chart shows. For reasons of time, I won't explain in detail all the interesting sectors that need modernization and innovation. Slides on them are included in the complete PowerPoint presentation that we circulated by the DTM. I will just point out some of them that may be of interest to Thai entrepreneurs, such as the food industry, fisheries and agriculture, gastronomy, manufacturing, in cosmetics, for instance, pharmaceuticals, auto parts, materials and fishes, uh, finishes for construction, as well as tourism infrastructure and services, which have been expanding to supply and serve the domestic and also the South American markets. Abundance of resources, competitive labor costs, business networks, tax incentives, and benefits made investment in those sectors very attractive and profitable. I will only emphasize tourism, an area in which Thai businesses excel. This sector needs further investment and innovative products. Peru is one of the main tourist destinations in South America, as you may know, due to its millenary archaeological sites and heritage, as uh, its living culture, its biodiversity, its amazing landscapes, and to its top gastronomy. But it needs to expand and upgrade its hotels, the air of transport, and related services to be more attractive and satisfy the growing demand of our foreign and domestic travelers. Besides private investment, pro inversion. The Peruvian Private Investment Promotion Agency has launched large infrastructure projects, creating a momentum for construction business and related industries, creating uh, which also can participate in binding processes in other South American countries or as subcontractors for awarded government to government projects in Peru as in the case of the program to reconstruct the northern of Peru, the northern part, which is being implemented by the British government with the participation of foreign and Peruvian companies. So far in 2022, there have been 24 projects valued in more than $7.5 billion. Also, there are 21 projects with a total value of 1.4 billion US dollars, uh, which are in the process of maturing this year, including hospitals, sanitation, schools, energy, you know, schools, energy plants, and tourism related services. I urge you to look into this link to access the various investment guides prepared by the prestigious company Alston John to provide detailed information to those who want to make business in Peru. So us to help them understand all the advantages that we offer to settle your business over there with a view to serve our market and our network of free trade partners worldwide. And also to those who want to invest in Peru your gateway to South America. I also invite 
Thailand agencies and Thai entrepreneurs to continue developing stronger economic relations with Peru, since I'm convinced that together, Peru and Thailand are already strategic partners since 2013, and we can continue to working together to be a much more prosperous nation. I thank you very deeply for allowing me to participate today and you know, show you all the advantages that Peru has to offer to Thai investors and Thai entrepreneurs. Thank you so much again.